Israelites, the God evangelical heathens serve is not our Elohim. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is the God of Israel. The heathen's God is impersonating the Most High Yah. The heathen wants you to believe the new God they created in the New Testament is the same as the Old Testament Elohim of Israel. That is not true. Most Christians do not realize they are worshiping a foreign God pretending to be the God of Israel. The heathens boldly proclaim they are followers of Jesus Christ, not the Most High Yah. They deceived the world into believing the God they created was the God of Israel in the flesh. The purpose of the tale series is to reveal the difference between Yah's truth and Satan's impersonation of Yah's truth. In addition, expose how Satan deceived the masses. So far, you have learned the tales of the two messiahs, the tales of the two chosen groups of people, the Israelites and the Jews, the tales of the Shemites and the Semites, the tales of Mizraim and Egypt. In this tales video, I will show you how the heathens reject the Old Testament God of Israel, create a new deity, and pass this new God as the Elohim of Israel. The heathens, influenced by Satan, took the ancient writings of our ancestors, add and take away whatever their heart desire, and change the overall message, creating the world religion, the most popular faith of today, Christianity. The scriptures revealed the Most High Yah does not change. But thou art the same, and thy years shall have no end. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Yah never referred to himself as the God to the world. Yah wants everyone to know that he is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel. The New Testament deity is masquerading as the Elohim of Israel to deceive Yah's people into worshiping Satan. Satan is using his seed to carry out this massive deception. Israelites, you must remember the evangelical heathens are deceived. Satan convinced the heathens they are something peculiar, greater than any people on earth. Satan thought he was greater than the Most High. He wanted to exalt himself higher than the Most High. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. The evangelical heathens has the same mentality a God complex. You cannot follow the heathens. The road they are on is leading them to destruction and the lake of fire. Be not ye therefore partakers with them. The heathens' heart has been hardened. They will not accept the Elohim of Israel. That is why they alter his message to his people in the New Testament, created a new deity that support their wicked mentality. Without further delay, let us dissect the many red flags that revealed the God of the evangelical heathens is not our Elohim, the God of Israel. The heathens are demonically possessed with the spirit of pride. Yah detests the proud. The reason Yah dislike the proud, those who possess this spirit are not humbled and they are stealing Yah's glory. The heathens believe they invented everything. They believe if they are not in control, the world would fall apart. They are too blind to see that presently the world is in chaos under their leadership. Currently, the heathens are poisoning the air with chemicals, replacing the food the Most High created to feed his creation with their counterfeit seeds, GMOs. The heathens' poisonous seeds cause cancer and all kinds of disease. They are poisoning our water with fluoride and other chemicals. In their mind, they are the greatest leaders. Everything they have created is destroying the earth. They do not know how to live on what the Most High has provided for his creation. The heathens believe it is not good enough. They must create inventions that is better than what the Most High has created. The biotechnology they use to create their diabolical inventions is destroying everything. However, in their mind, they believe the world has evolved better than it has ever been under their leadership. 
I believe Satan has convinced the evangelical heathens that their ancestors have created the earth and they are gods. The pride they possess has blinded them to the truth. This is why they steal other nations of people accomplishment for themselves and change history to support their narrative. They will manipulate anything to show that they are superior and everyone else is beneath them. They will cover up anything that revealed their weakness and spread lies in their media to convince the masses of their winning strategy. Remember, their inventions are always destructive and a cancer to the earth. The God of Israel do not support such behavior. He will judge anyone, including his chosen people who go against his laws, statutes, and commandments. Yah dislike pride so much that when Satan displayed the same trait, he cast him out of the heavenly places onto earth. Yah was not going to share his glory with anyone. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. I am the Lord, that is my name. And my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. The God of Israel do not support the proud. That is why the heathens has proclaimed the Old Testament is fulfilled and created the new deity that support their views as their God. Israelites, that is what the ancient people did in the past. They created gods out of wood and stone from the hands of men to worship. And there ye shall serve gods, the work of men's hands, wood and stone which neither see, nor hear, nor eat, nor smell. Today's New Testament deity the heathens has created is no different from what the ancient people have done in the past. The heathens have taken their pride to a new level. The ancient people knew the God of Israel exists and they feared him. Today, the evangelical heathens hate the Elohim of Israel so much that they have replaced the Most High with their own God. They refuse to worship the true Elohim of Israel. The heathens believe the Old Testament Elohim is an angry God. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Let no man deceive you with vain words. For because of these things cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. The heathens erased the history of the Israelites, the people the Most High has chosen to be a royal priesthood. Replace the Israelites with people that they have no problem admiring, their own kind, the Jews. In their mind, everyone is inferior while they are superior. The evangelical heathens change the appearance of the Messiah to an image that have the likeness of themselves. They worship that graven image and they convince the world to do the same. Yah command his people not to worship graven images. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth, lest ye corrupt yourselves and make you a graven image, the similitude of any figure, the likeness of male or female. Take heed unto yourselves, lest ye forget the covenant of the Lord your God, which he made with you, and make you a graven image, or the likeness of anything, which the Lord thy God hath forbidden thee. The word of Yah in the book of Maccabees said they would change the appearance of his people to paint the portrait of their own likeness. The heathens went around the world with the deity they have created, forcing people to bow down to that deity. If they refused, they would kill the people, steal their land and their wealth, destroy their nations through genocide. The heathens learned from their father, Satan, whose objective is to steal, kill and destroy. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. History revealed the evangelical heathens destroy nations. Remember the Crusades? Israelites, this is why Christianity is the most popular religion in the world. It was forced upon our ancestors and other nations of people. If our ancestors refused, they destroy their life through slavery and genocide. They use the sword to destroy nations to maintain their dominance. The Elohim of Israel said, if you live by the sword, you would die by the sword. Then said Jesus unto him, Put up again thy sword into his place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Evangelical heathens live by the sword all day, every day. The scriptures are being fulfilled. Look at the rise of mass shootings. They are killing themselves with the sword. How could the Elohim of Israel be the same God of the heathens? They are serving a God that they created, not the Elohim of Israel. Yah is not a man that he should lie, or a son of man that he should repent. God is not a man that he should lie. 
neither the Son of Man, that he should repent? Hath he said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? The Christian God posing as the God of Israel is contradicting the words of the Most High. The heathens proclaim Yah loved them and he saved them through Jesus, regardless of their non-repentant ways. The Elohim of Israel said he will punish the children for the sins of their fathers. The Lord is long-suffering and of great mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression, and by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. Evangelical heathens believe the past will not catch up to them because they are blessed and highly favored. The heathens said their ancestors enslaved, murdered, and destroyed nations. They had nothing to do with the past, therefore they are free. The heathens will ignore the scripture stating Yah would punish the children for the sins of their fathers to the third and fourth generations. The pride in their hearts will not allow them to accept the truth. Not only would the Most High judge the children for the sins of their fathers, Yah said a man would reap what he has sold. Be not deceived, God is not mocked, for whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. Presently, the evangelical heathens are destroying the lives of people all over the world. Since they are sowing seed of destruction, you will reap what you have sowed. Their God is not our God. The Elohim of Israel will hold you accountable for your sins. Evangelical heathens will not assume responsibility for their actions. The Most High command his people to repent first before they can reap the harvest. I have yet to hear a heathen truly repent. All I ever heard was excuses. The word repent simply means to turn from wickedness or sin. If the heathens truly repented, everyone would live in peace. But the complete opposite is happening today. In the heathen's mind, they are doing nothing wrong. My question to evangelicals all over the world, if you have done nothing wrong, why you need a savior? Evangelical heathens do not follow the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. The heathens created their own laws and told the world through Christianity that the Elohim of Israel's laws are fulfilled and done away with. If ye love me, keep my commandments. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, and that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you, while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses, and in the prophets, and in the Psalms concerning me. Did everyone hear what Yahshua said in Luke 24, verse 44? Yahshua said, All things must be fulfilled, which were written in the laws of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Key word concerning me. It did not say anything about the laws of Yah being fulfilled. Listen to the verse again. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you, while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses, and in the prophets, and in the Psalms concerning me, concerning me, concerning me, concerning me. Yeshua, who declared in Matthew chapter 15, verse 24, that he was sent only to the lost house of Israel, he said to keep all of the Ten Commandments. The Messiah never said the laws are fulfilled. Yeshua came to fulfill what was written about him. Who is this deity? telling the people that the laws of the Most High are fulfilled. Remember, Yah does not change. The heathens have placed their man-made laws above the Elohim of Israel. The heathens add and take away whatever their heart desired to make themselves appear to be holy. Since they believe they have a legal right to change laws, they will overrule the final verdict that revealed their wickedness to maintain their holy appearance. How could the Elohim of Israel make laws to govern his people, then declare you do not have to keep the laws because they are fulfilled. Did the Most High say his laws were temporary? Are the laws of the land we live on temporary? For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. The God of Israel spoke the world into existence. Yah divided the earth in lots for Noah's three sons, 
and their descendants. The evangelical heathens changed history by renaming places and the people. They made themselves to appear superior while everyone else is inferior. Brainwashed the world into believing they never contribute anything positive to the world. They believe the world revolve around them and their kind, no one else. And thou, Lord, in the beginning hast laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the works of thine hands. The heathens believe they are the smartest people in the world. This is why they like to bring up IQ, a biased test created by them to determine a person's ability. The Most High never created such tests to determine your proficiency. The God of Israel wants you to focus on his laws, statutes and commandments, not a manufactured test created by men. The Elohim of Israel said the heathen's wisdom is foolishness. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness in God's sight. As it is written, he catches the wise in their craftiness. Evangelical heathens believe the reason their God blessed them with money, power, and prestige positions in every nation is due to their righteousness. The heathens do not want to talk about how they attain those prestige positions. In their mind, they believe they are good people. That is why God reward them. The heathens, God, reward bad behavior. Since they build a worldwide system that caters to them, they have a legal right to declare themselves not guilty and righteous. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich. And their own shepherds pity them not. Pride is devouring the heathens, and they do not have a clue. If the truth is in their face, they will reject the truth. If our perspective do not correspond with their beliefs, the heathens will dismiss our knowledge. They believe their way is the right way, and everyone else is wrong. The heathens feel they should have the final say, and they should dictate how the world should operate and how the people should live. They want everyone to submit worship and entertain them because evangelical heathens believe Yah has given them the privilege to rule the world. The Elohim of Israel said, the love of money is the root to all evil. The evangelical heathens will do anything for money. The Elohim of Israel said, you could not serve him and money. No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Israelites, if you follow the world's wealth, you will discover evangelical heathens alongside their counterpart, the Jews, not forgetting the Vatican, owns the world's wealth. The evangelical heathens are a branch that stems from the Roman Catholic Church. As different as they want you to believe they are, both branches stem from the same root. They bow down to the same God, including the Jews. In order to maintain their holy appearance, they hide behind outreach ministries. The Bible reveals Satan can disguise himself as an angel of light. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Satan is not the only fallen angel who can masquerade as an angel of light. His angels have the ability to do the same. Israelites, when Satan and his angels come to deceive you in a dream, do they ever appear as themselves? The fallen angels and unclean spirits transform themselves into a person you know and love to gain your trust. The Bible tells us to beware of wolves in sheep clothing. Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly. They are ravening wolves. Like their God, the evangelical heathens has mastered disguising themselves into angels of light to cover the darkness in their hearts. How, you may ask? Ministry and nonprofit organizations. Look at the outreach ministries and nonprofit organizations established all over the world to help the people. With the numerous nonprofit organizations and ministry all over the world, the people remain poor. Their conditions never seem to improve. Haiti has received billions in donations and several outreach ministries are in Haiti as I speak, yet the conditions of the Haitian people remain the same. These transformers convince sheeps like you and me to donate to their organizations. 
the leaders of those organizations pocket the money and the people who are supposed to benefit from the donations are in worse conditions than before. The heathens pocket the donations and they get to keep their holy appearance. Nobody can challenge them because they will declare, I have such and such ministry and nonprofit organizations that is helping many people all over the world. The volunteers who want to make a difference and sacrifice their time, the people who donate their hard earned money, never know how these nonprofit organizations are spending the money. The pastors are rich and their congregation is poor. Look at what the Clinton Foundation has done to Haiti and third world nations all over the world. The Clinton Foundation is not the only diabolical organization. There are many wicked outreach ministries. We all have heard how these so-called evangelical heathens outreach ministries show up to help third world countries and while on duty, they are caught with their pants down. Once they get into those countries, they bring their lusts and their diseases with them. They are caught in prostitution, kidnapping children, vaccinating women to make them barren and sick. All this wickedness disguised under nonprofit organizations, ministries, and foundations. Israelites, this is how the heathens transform themselves into angels of light to gain your trust and destroy you in the process. A heathen terrorist group called the Ku Klux Klan believe they are serving the Elohim of Israel. This hate group are self-professed Christians. They believe they are superior and they hate black people. The members of this hate group are your everyday evangelicals, doctors, lawyers, teachers, police officers, judges, politicians, celebrities, and your next door neighbor. Behind closed doors or under the hood, at their gathering, they transform into themselves who they really are. How can you serve the Elohim of Israel and hate other nations of people who do not look like you? The Elohim of Israel said to love your neighbors as you love yourself. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. How can a hate group such as the KKK proclaim to be serving the same God as the Elohim of our fathers, the God of Israel? If their God was our God, according to Yah, you should love your neighbors as you love yourself. The Most High said you should help others, not oppress them. Yah also despised the proud, and the members of this hate group are prideful. They possess an enormous amount of hate towards certain people, yet the Bible they proclaim to read said not to hate. Israelites, this should prove to you the God the heathen serve and the God of Israel is two different gods. Evangelical heathens live in fear. Yah declared he did not give us the spirit of fear. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Not only did the Most High did not give us the spirit of fear, he gave us a sound mind and peace. When the heathens want to execute an Israelite or someone they believe is beneath them, they use fear as an excuse to harm a person. Once they justify their sin through mental illness, they declare themselves not guilty in their court system, allowing the spirit of fear to lead them to kill. The God of Israel said you should not kill. Thou shalt not kill. The Most High want his people to follow his commandments, and the sixth commandment declare thou shalt not kill. The heathens use fear as an excuse to violate the commandments of the Most High. Evangelical heathens believe only the first two commandments are important. Their God proclaims the laws of Yah are done away with. The heathens have laws they created in every nation. If you violate any of those laws, you suffer the penalty for violating the laws. How could the Most High in the Old Testament create laws for his people to follow and not have a penalty for those who violate his laws? Do that make sense, Israelites? It seems to me the heathens believe they are Yah. They can do whatever they want. The God the heathens created is very passive. The heathens said their God would forgive them of all their sins. Since they believe and accept Jesus as their savior, according to their false doctrines, they will inherit the kingdom. 
They will not suffer the consequences of their unrepented sins. Their Savior will rapture them just in time before the wrath of Yah. If you heathens believe you will not be judged, you better wake up. The God of Israel is an Elohim of wrath. The New Testaments proclaim the vengeance he intend to take on his enemies and those who violate his statutes, commandments, and laws. In addition, he intend to judge the heathen nations who mistreat his people. And the nation to whom they shall be in bondage will I judge, said God. And after that shall they come forth and serve me in this place. I will gather all nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat. There I will put them on trial for what they did to my inheritance, my people Israel, because they scattered my people among the nations and divided up my land. Do you know who his people are? The heathen's ancestors conspire with other nations to cut them off from being a nation. This generation of heathens, most do not know the truth because they have inherited lies. Israelites, that is why the heathens created a new deity that is passive. Their God will ignore their wickedness and allow them to inherit the kingdom. Can you see how Satan used the heathens to alter the word of Yah? Created a religion called Christianity that supports the wickedness people do without consequences? Manipulate many to serve a false God masquerading as the Elohim of Israel? Satan was the one who wanted to do what he wanted without interference from Yah. The Most High judge him. Today's generation is following the footsteps of Satan. As long as they believe Jesus is going to save them, they will do whatever they like without boundaries. What would happen to a society that has no laws and boundaries? Meditate on that. Evangelical heathens train leaders in their seminary schools to preach the same doctrine to every generation to keep the deception going. No matter how you show the heathens and the brainwashed Israelites the truth, they will find a way to argue that the way they were taught in the heathen school system is superior to the word of Yah influenced by the spirit of truth. A day is coming when the evangelical heathens will realize their ancestors have inherited lies. O Lord, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things wherein there is no profit. Evangelical heathens believe the chosen people are Jews. Anyone that is not a Jew are Gentiles. The Christian faith is based on following Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. The heathens believe all people can be grafted in as long as they believe in Jesus and accept him as their Savior. Jesus is their Messiah and God in the flesh. That is the good news being preached to people all over the world for thousands of generations, indoctrinating people all over the world into idol worship. Evangelical heathens focus solely on Jesus. They have removed the Father, the God of Israel, from their doctrines, transforming their Savior into an idol. The heathens' interpretation of the Bible is Satan's deception. Israelites, the heathens follow Jesus, a manufactured European God that is pretending to be the Elohim of Israel. The heathens convince you to follow the God they created under the influence of Satan. We, the Israelites who are serving the Most High in the Spirit and in the truth, we follow the Father, the Elohim of Israel, Yah. Yah sent the Messiah, Yahshua, to teach his people, the Israelites, his statutes and commandments. In addition, giving his people salvation if they take heed to the teachings Yahshua taught. The Israelites disobeyed the Most High. That is why they need salvation. Yah judged his people, exiled them out of the promised land, and scattered the Israelites into all the nations of this world. The remnant of his people who returned to serving the Most High in the spirit and in the truth will inherit the kingdom. The strangers, all the non-Israelites, who cleave to the Israelites and worship the Elohim of Israel, the Father, will have an opportunity to inherit the kingdom. One Bible, two different deities with similar stories, but with two different outcomes. One story is being told through the spirit of the Most High speaking through his people, the other by the kingdom of darkness to deceive the masses into rebelling against the God of Israel and worship Satan, a fallen angel. Can you differentiate between the two? The heathen's God is not our Elohim. Thou shalt have no other gods before.